Why do some winters bring snowy scenes to both the UK and the USA, while others deliver wind, rain and above average temperatures? Is there a hidden thread linking these wild swings on different continents and across oceans? And can we predict it days or weeks ahead? Let's find out. Remember the start of 2010? Snow blanketed almost the entire UK. Roads closed, schools shut, even Cornwall turned white. On the other side of the Atlantic, the USA was also in the grip of a severe winter. February 2010, the term Snowmageddon was coined as three historic snowstorms hit the USA in just a month. Ten years later, however, February 2020, relentless rain in the UK, red warnings were issued as Storm Dennis brought flooding to South Wales. What's going on here? The answer lies in the Arctic Oscillation, or AO. Think of it as an atmospheric seesaw between the Arctic and the mid-latitudes. Normally, surface pressure is lower near the Arctic than in the mid-latitudes because of the strong temperature contrast between the cold polar region and the warmer equator. In an average setup, the AO is zero or neutral. When pressure is even lower than normal towards the North Pole and or higher than normal further south, the AO index is described as positive. When the AO swings positive, the jet stream strengthens and shifts north, trapping cold air near the pole. Europe and North America get wind, rain and above average temperatures. In February 2020, the AO was plus 2.528. That's the highest February index in records that go back to 1950. But when the AO turns negative, the jet stream weakens and meanders south. Suddenly, Arctic air escapes, bringing cold air and snow to places that don't always expect it. In February 2010, the AO index was minus 4.266. That's the lowest on record for any calendar month. So, if we can anticipate changes in the Arctic Oscillation, we can often foresee major shifts in Northern Hemisphere weather, including the UK. But how do we know what the AO will do next? One clue comes from the polar night jet, a circulation of strong stratospheric winds circulating the North Pole. This strengthens every winter as a pool of deep cold air, known as the stratospheric polar vortex, forms. When the polar night jet changes speed or direction, it often contributes towards an upcoming shift in the AO. But that's not the whole story. The AO is also shaped by teleconnections, large-scale patterns in the atmosphere and oceans that link distant regions. Changes in one area, such as tropical storms or stratospheric winds near the equator, can influence weather thousands of miles away. Examples include El Nino, the Madden-Julian Oscillation, and equatorial stratospheric winds. These patterns interact with polar stratospheric winds, creating ripple effects that can flip the AO's phase. By monitoring these signals, meteorologists can often predict AO changes days or even weeks ahead. For more on teleconnections, check out the explainers on the Met Office YouTube channel. It's worth remembering that even when the AO goes negative, Cold snaps don't always hit the UK or the US. Why is that? One reason is the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO, a similar pressure index but on a regional scale. That's the difference in pressure between Iceland and the Azores. It often trends positive or negative in sync with the AO and helps shape UK winters. But Recent research suggests that as the Arctic warms, this link between the AO and the NAO could change. This is an ongoing area of research and a topic that deserves its own video. What's the hidden thread behind blizzards, floods and mild spells across continents? It's the Arctic Oscillation, an atmospheric seesaw that drives some of the Northern Hemisphere's most dramatic weather. When the AO swings positive, the jet stream can lock cold air near the pole and bring milder, wetter conditions to places like the UK. When it turns negative, 
the jet stream can weaken and wobble south, allowing Arctic air to spill into mid-latitudes. By tracking stratospheric winds and global teleconnections, meteorologists are often able to spot these shifts well ahead of time, allowing us to anticipate big changes in winter weather. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in learning more about the teleconnections mentioned in this video, click here to watch Honor's video on global drivers of the UK's winter weather. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our latest videos.